Hey guys, it's Pierre Meunier. Welcome on F3K Review. So, in first, before start this video, um, I want you to know I'm really, really, really happy to make that content for you. Uh, all of you beginners and um, if you like this video all what I do so please comment down below and drop a like on this video on on my channel all of this and um, I'm really happy to reply to all your comments so if you have any question about anything you can comment down below and I will reply to you then uh, I want to say thank you really a lot to all the donators make a donation on my PayPal so if you have not already I want you know all this money goes directly for the channel so I invest all this money in the videos I buy better things for make better videos so really thank you a lot uh, today we are near to the halfway to get a brand new camera so thank you a lot and if you want to join the movement to help me to buy a new camera you can click on the paypal button on my youtube channel so thank you a lot for that so now back to the video so um, we are now on monday and i'm doing actually the beginners week so this first video will be pretty long about uh, 15 minutes or a bit more so let's start now so first of all are you a pilot so did you ever pilot a glider an airplane if you have pilot um, a drone or something like this it doesn't count because it's really 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 a lot different so a drone is an unstable machine if you have a DJI it's stable yes but it's really the n not the same style of piloting because you have not inertia you don't need to manage your speed if you have ever pilot um, glider or a plane it will be really easy really more easy to introduce to DLG so if you have never uh, pilot anything uh, near to a glider or airplane so you can introduce with the UMX Whippet so it's really simple to fly simple to launch and it's strong and cheap so really really um, for the first ever airplane the Whippet is pretty good then if you have ever pilot uh, any type of fixed wing then you can go ahead and buy an F3K 1 meter glider or 1.5 meters this is a big question I wish to say never mind about that even it's flying but it's a bit more complicated than this so I will explain it in tomorrow video I think now I will say okay you have one good experience of fixed wind flying so I will talk about have you ever flown a thermal glider so this, a glider for thermaling if yes great then you can go ahead find your glider and let's fly but if you have not uh, the DLG is really one glider for thermaling and for really having fun it's one low inertia glider and it's really really easy to fly it's um, an F3J uh, something like this this type of glider are really really more complicated to fly because they need more speed etc etc 
the F3K uh, I think is the easiest way to fly a glider. Now I will skip that and talk a bit about the model. So which model where will you go? So um, I said 1 meter and 1.5 meters but you can go ahead to a glass or carbon model. You can buy a 2 axis or 3 axis etc etc so you have a tons of choice on the market more than 60 models for standard DLG it's huge sorry for the chicken <laughs> so yes it's a ton of choice but anything on the market work a bit better for some a bit less for some but Generally, it's pretty good. I will go a bit faster because <laughs> the video is pretty long. Uh, which battery you need to use in DLG? So, one cell LiPo, this one is 450 milliamps, and two cell, this one is 300 milliamps to cell. So, this type of battery are pretty current today. So. Which one? As you want. Really as you want. Because uh, if you want more power, more speed, etc., you need two cell battery. And if you want uh, longer ta flight time, etc., you need one cell battery. That's it. it and it's a, it depends a bit of your servos. So, about the servos today, if you buy Bluebirds, KST, MKS, all of this it will work pretty well um, some of uh, Turnigy or something like this doesn't work well because the QC is not good as needed but um, all of big brown uh, servos work pretty well so it's really as you want um, for the battery charger so I have this one B6AC so it's pretty basic uh, charger but it works well you just need a simple charger and it's plenty enough for the LG uh, which radio I use is uh, Terranis X9D so it's worked really near to too much well for F3K because uh, you can use it for 9 meter glider <laughs> so it's plenty enough for DLG um, why I don't use um, the new uh, X7 Terranis X7 is because uh, I didn't get one uh, earlier as needed so I have an X90 and um, uh, the X7 doesn't have any sliders only these things i don't know i don't remember how these things are called knots or something like this so knobs yeah knobs so i pretty like the x90 so i don't want to switch to anything else um yes talking about the radio how to put a streamer on your radio so if you have a Terranis or something with a module on the back side you can take the door and simply glue a carbon rod or something like this and put it here and put a tape with radio tape that's it radio cassette tape so now you have all these things, radio, battery, servos, um, glider, all of this. So now, where do you need to go for fly your glider? So, a good field is for me, one field with not no big trees and pl plenty large enough for don't take the risk to put the glider at launch in a tree or in approach when you are landing. So 
100 meters by 100 meters is okay. The narrowest as po possible 50 by 50 is really too small. You can fly a 1 meter but a football uh, track is uh, really too small. Football field is too small, yeah, it's too narrow. So then when you have your field uh, and it's a bit windy, you need ballast in your model. Why you need ballast when it's windy? Because um, an DLG is built the, light the lightest as possible for fly longest as possible in dead air time. So when it's windy, you need some lead. So why to ballast? It's because you need to came back from downwind and to if you want to go upwind, so then you need more weight. So a ballast is built for don't change the CG of your model. So it needs to be fixed um, on the front uh, near the canopy because uh, you need to put in it and put it out. And the leads are made for balance well under CG or over it, but at the place of the CG. So this is a 6-4 ballast. This is a Vibe 2 ballast, so it's the same. Uh, it's um, piano wire rods and lead. That's it. So this is why we ballast our models. Um, for the launch, I will don't talk about it too much because I already made two videos about it. So I think it's plenty enough. So the links will be in the description. Um, one thing really important progress at launch I didn't say it in my previous video is film yourself. Really, because um, sometimes uh, you ask for uh, can you help me I launch only at 25 meters or something like this or maybe higher, maybe 40 but uh, you can't go higher and you are going full power. So for help you, you can simply do a video about your launch with your cell phone, with a camera or something like this and put it on YouTube and send me the link by comment or something like this, I, re I'm, I will be really happy to help you. So you're really welcome to do that. One last thing, yes, it's the last thing on my list. <laughs> so the shoes and the sunglasses. So the shoes are really, really important in DLG because you turning on it and for don't hurt your knees you really need a good shoes. I see some people with um, hiking shoes and it's really not the best shoes for um, doing DLG. Uh, for me the best shoes are uh, trail cho shoes. So the trail shoes uh, like uh, Salomon Speed Cross or Salomon XA Pro are really really well. It's a bit expensive but for don't hurt yourself it's pretty good. Um, Minzuno Munjin are really good too. Um, some some good uh, trail uh, shoes are really really well. Uh, if they are more they are lighter more you will be good. So think about that and you will be totally fine. One thing is really important too is your eyes. Yes, the sunglasses are really, really important. So today we have the chance to can get uh, photochromic sunglasses for not that much expensive. Me, I decide to buy the best app as possible because I'm flying near to every day and flying is my work too so I need really the best things are possible so I bought um, 
Gilles Ball trick uh, with um, Camelon glasses. So it's um, class 2 to class 4 sunglasses with polarized uh, glasses too. So it's really, 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 really important. The cheapest way is go to one pair of class 3 sunglasses and one pair of class 4 then you can fly near to all weather but photochromic sunglasses are really really the best so keep that in mind and be careful with your eyes with your knees and all of this so thank you for watching this video is pretty long and we will see near to all these subjects uh, every day so one subject one day and I hope you enjoyed this video. See you later. Bye.